Um, so I'm here on a different background. I think I like this background more. This is my desk. And I'm here for an announcement video. And it's quarantine. Um, we're all at home with nothing to do. And so I figured I'd make an announcement video to announce something that's been going on. Um, you know all those clip, or not clips, you know the recent clips video I made? Well, that actually has something to do with a clan, another clan that I have joined, or that my friends have put together and I have been somehow scooped into. Um, which, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for. Thank you, by the way. And just at some point, it seems pretty funny how many clans we've gone through. I can think of APX, YZQ, Rage. Rage was the best, if anyone knows. If anyone was there for that. Hello, humans and potatoes. Potato Rage here, bringing you another video. What? Is you blind? Is you dumb? Hello, and welcome to AC Games. Where you can see me fail. Basically. I also want to say I have a few different. I have a, some, I'd like to make some different content, really. And so I've got some video ideas right here um, in the works. Um, but for right now, I would just like to say, you uploaded a TikTok video that got like a thousand views within one day or something crazy like that, which is the amount of views I've gotten on this YouTube channel over its two year period, which, um, so that's really all I have to say, um, but one more thing, you've been surprised. So, I don't know what that really last part of the um, intro was, but really, um, announcement video over, but I want to talk about one thing I saw recently. And, um, so, this is kind of a pointless video, but a video that I want to make more of. And so, um, so recently, we got Wendy's. Yay. And on the back here, I was surprised not only by their guarantee that if after one bite of our breakfast isn't your favorite, we'll be shocked, but we'll also let you pick something else similar from our breakfast menu, no questions asked. I thought that was quite interesting, but what I thought found more interesting, I can't speak today, um, is Wendy's, the official sponsor of the NCAA, uh, as you can see. So I actually didn't know what the NCAA was. I'm not a big sports person. It's the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or AKA College Sports. Now, I was thinking about this, and it seems a little messed up, right? You've got this, um, you've got this company that is supposed to be appealing to kids, right? Or you've got this organization that's supposed to be appealing to kids. Kids strive to go into this, these professional sports. They look up to these people and right slapped uh, and slapped in that logo is Wendy's. And I don't really get it. I mean, I get that the official, the, the official pizza of the NFL is Papa John's or the official beer of the of NFL is Bud Light, I believe. I guess what I'm trying to say is brands could put a little bit more thought into who sponsors them. And I feel like that this just doesn't make any sense. It's kind of messed up when you think about it, considering kids are looking up to these people and seeing, hey, we should order Wendy's. We should order Wendy's breakfast, right? College, this college basketball kid said, or this college basketball team said that you should eat Wendy's. So we should eat Wendy's, right? Um, but you'll see in a sec. I think it's a little wrong about this. So if you ignore the shift of the camera angle, um, like I said before, um, uh, Wendy's is trying to appeal to kids with their breakfast menu by going after the NCAA first, or by getting sponsored, uh, by being the official breakfast of the NCAA, and you may not get what the real problem I have with this, or what I think is a little, at the very least, not morally best option is because... Um, you look at the Wendy's breakfast menu, which I'll show, which I'll show on the screen 
here. You can see that there's a lot of croissants or like egg croissants and a lot of bigger, like a lot of burgers, baconator burger. That's a famous burger, right? Anyway, because the uh, World Health Organization, yeah, those people who are dealing with the coronavirus right now, and the literal health organization that that is supposed to make up what is healthy for you and what is not and is supposed to give you guideline rules, said in 2015, after reviewing 800 studies, found that there is, that eating processed meat is carcinogenic. Processed meat is carcinogenic, which is on the same level, or which is a level one carcinogen, which means it's proven to be carcinogenic, which is processed meat. And the same level one carcinogens are asbestos, heard of that before, right? Plutonium and smoking. Or, yeah, tobacco. So, if that is the kind of thing that process meat is on the same level of, then why does it make sense that the same thing that is proven to be as harmful as smoking is being advertised to kids? I don't get these sponsors, right? But if you dwell deeper, then it gets really, it gets a lot more messed up than Wendy's and the NCAA. Hey guy, back 2,000 years later here because I have no sense of completing things on time. But I'm here to finish off the video where I started talking about sponsors. And so when I when I ended, I I basically said. <coughs> So when I left off, I was talking about sponsors. Now here's a few list of interesting names here. American Diabetes Association is sponsored by, um, among many food companies, Dannon Yogurt, which makes no sense because Dannon is a, is a product high in saturated fat, which literally is the causation of diabetes. It's not sugar, by the way. Might follow up on a future video on that. Um, when you go to the American Cancer Society, this is my favorite one, it's sponsored, or it takes money from Tyson Foods, among many other, like, among many other food labels and food companies. Tyson Foods is the production of, um, um, basically, um, processed meats, um, like Lunchables, Hillshire Farms, Jimmy Dean, um, yeah, that is Tyson. And those foods are literally proven to cause cancer, and yet they are, and yet the American Cancer Society takes money from them. When you go to the Susan G. Komen Company, they take money from KFC and Yoplait. Um, dairy is proven of a causation of higher risk of breast cancer, and really, don't really need to explain KFC. To the American Heart Association, right? They take money from the Texas Beef Association, among many other companies, which is crazy right because the because beef is one of the main contributors to heart disease or that one of the main things that causes heart disease is the is the eating of meats and is the meaning of meat and dairy products along with smoking and so maybe it's just a coincidence that when you go on all of these websites right they have no warning of all of these foods it's crazy it's such a coincidence that these companies are taking money from food companies that are literally causing the things they're trying to trying to combat right and then not giving any warnings about it so here for example we have heart check certified recipes from the american heart association website and so here we have american egg board certified recipes right and Cattlemen Beef Association certified recipes. Yeah, like some confetti beef taco salad and sloppy joes. That's what's heart healthy, right? Yeah, I, I get this is a big giant rant. Probably nobody cares about it, right? But the point is, or my point here, is that maybe brands should be considering the people they're catering to over themselves.